Hi guys, welcome back to another con haul. It is quite a massive haul. I did spend quite a lot. This is gonna be mostly like a sticker sheet kind of haul. You'll see why in a little bit. But I hope you guys enjoy this. I did change the format of it just a little bit. This will help you all see the art in a little bit more detail. I'll be showcasing the artworks and of course um, giving my commentary, but it'll just be audio format instead of just my usual format in the past few con hauls. So um, I hope you enjoy. These earrings are crocheted and they're super duper cute. I can't seem to not make a purchase at this booth, they always seem to get me. If you didn't know, I'm obsessed with cats. It's all thanks to my boyfriend since he has two, and if you've been seeing my vlogs recently, they've been featured many times. Having these are super helpful during cons because you can put your hotel car key in them so you don't have to dig for it when the time comes. This one was on their display since they were all out on the last day, but they gave me a discount since there's a slight blemish. If you watched my Otakon vlog, you know what I got, but I also traded some from their trading stash they had from other people's gacha pools. My ultimate goal was getting the rare Calcifer pin. The booth also had a little deal where if you buy four of the gacha pins, then they would gift you a sprite um, on the spot. And then uh, because I was working so hard trying to find my pin that I was looking for, I got to choose the color and um, the color that I chose was blue. They also had yellow, green, and P2. I'm still a fan of Art Nice designs, and uh, this charm I got was the last from her display. I love both Gojo and Ghetto, and I couldn't just get one of them. I needed a new small charm for my wallet since my old one broke and I thought this was perfect for it. I already have too many jet tags, but the designs, uh, I couldn't give these up. If anyone knows what the back says, let me know in the comments, please. I'm trying my best not to buy so many washi tapes, and I think I did an okay job. This tape is all the Zodiac animals having supper at the table, which is a pretty nice idea for a design that's continuous on a thing like washi tape. I want to get a tattoo of Haku and Kasa for one day, but my skin is so sensitive. But I wanted to try it out with these temporary ones to look cool. <laughs> here's what it looked like one day after the transfer, and here's five days after the transfer. This booth always gives out a free sticker for Art Nice cosplayer, and luckily I was cosplaying Chen that time. I 
I don't know why I decided to buy two, but、um, yeah, I guess I put it on two different spots. Totally check out Justin CMV. There's some amazing cosplayers there, and of course, <laughs> there's me. This jib is from completing the anniversary stamp rally since they didn't have any more of the actual prize left when we got there. I've bought from these artists before, so I don't really know if I've bought repeats, but their art style is so good to pass up. All the Miku designs for the Pokemon traits are so cool, in my opinion. And I don't know what it is about Asian sauces, snacks, and drinks, but they appeal to me. They're just so aesthetically pleasing and cute in the sticker form. I already have some of her art on my wall, but I gotta get more because it's just so breathtaking. I'm always happy when I can add more art notes to my wall. They also had a Castle in the Sky print, which I really wanted, but they were sold out. The gold foil looked so good on this print, so that's why I had to get it. So I caved in and bought Gojo Cat.、Um, he's super long. As you can see, it'd be nice to cuddle with. There was a booth that sold just Ghetto and Gojo stuff mostly, and they also was selling a Gojo、um, plush like this, but it was much smaller、um, and it was $35. So、um, this was definitely worth it. Both me and Derek ended up buying this shirt since it was so cute. I've bought from them before, and their shirts are so freaking comfy. Sadly, there's not an actual pocket on the front. BB Sama had to add their mascot, which is a cat, and it's trying to be like a corgi on the front of the shirt, which I thought was cute. They collab with Nemo Pond, and if you've seen her work, it's very recognizable. BB Sama has to be my all time favorite vendor to buy shirts, high quality shirts that are so, so comfy. I was debating on whether I should buy this one since I didn't really like the front, but I think I'll grow to like it if I wear it more often. I was really looking for a comfy sweater to buy at this year's Otakon so I can wear it when I'm studying at cafes for dental hygiene since they like to blow the AC. The bigger the better since it's more comfy for me. Derek wanted to buy this one, but I really wanted it too. We both have the same taste, but he decided he would just go for the Appa from Avatar instead, so he's gonna buy it online. The inside is super soft. I was eyeing this on her online store, and I was so glad I got to wear it in person since I didn't really know the measurements. When I saw this, I immediately thought it would be cool to wear while I'm playing Dance Rush, and it's such a dope light jacket since it has some tech wear aspects to it.
But yeah guys, I hope you enjoyed the new format. Um, it's a lot easier for me to do it this way than my um, other con haul. So um, I hope you enjoyed it. Please let me know in the comments what was your favorite among the haul. And you know, if you did enjoy this format as well, that's also uh, really nice of y'all. I appreciate it. I hope I see y'all soon at Dragon Con for at least uh, one day. But um, until then, stay safe and take care. Bye!